<laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> In the military, Oscar Mike just literally means okay for whatever reason. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> so literally just layman's turn. When's the last time you okayed? Uh, uh, I okay a lot of things. And that's been main okays all the time. <laughs> I don't need him. That's what I need. All right, you guys are uh, ready? Because we yeah. are streaming. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the stream for D&D. Yay! We're here. We're alive. Sorry about last week. Couldn't help that. Uh, I am Evie, and we are joined by my fellow players. Um, Peroxide, who plays the human wizard, John Smith. A regular guy, just... he's just a human wizard. Uh, Missy, yep. who plays Satara, the Kalashtar paladin. Hello, first time paladin here, first time killer. Well, actually, multiple killer waiting to kill things. Oh, well, you're a conquest it's paladin, it's an so... acceptable yes. amount of homicide. Yes, I mean, what event would be complete without it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, we are also joined by my friend Mace of Spades, who plays Chiraru. We really stepped in it this time. And Sube, who plays Mazani, the racist goblin against racists. Sorry, the goblin who's racist against goblins. There we go. <laughs> the racist who's racist against the racist. <laughs> racist oh, he's also a goblin. Racist. Being racist <laughs> against racist seems acceptable. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well, these goblins might be racist. So yeah, like, wouldn't that be racist? goblins? Yeah. Hmm. For another time, I think. We last left off our heroes. They had gathered their horses and decided to leave Fandolin in order to complete the quest that Sister Grell had dealing with a banshee known as Agatha. The party got what they wanted, left on good terms. Uh, well, good means objective. Well, before that, before meeting Agatha, they had a us. very, they had a very wet night. Some wetter than others. Poor John. And rivalry was begun, which will last for eternity. Yep. Uh, John now no longer does. cares for Magnus, out of the two horses. Uh, they met a singing and dancing ogre who is waiting, who is trying to get into the show business. No. Mm. And the party may have learned that he may have uh, killed his brother, which, to be fair, he started it. <laughs> he did throw a tree trunk sized javelin at Chiron. I mean, that was just pretty rude. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, at that point, why well, keep it around? After that, they managed to stop back at the Cragmall Cave hideout, where their adventure first started, to get a night's rest. Unfortunately, the cave was preoccupied by two very large owlbears, as Mazzotti shouted owlbears to warn his compatriots via thaumaturgy. I need you all to roll initiative, as it is... It's bear time! Like, no, it's owl time! That was definitely me quoting Teddy for Persona 4. I prefer killing time. Also, oh, John, your time. gift of alacrity is still up. It should be. Yep. Oh, I need to re. I need to add my D8 to that then. Yeah, we did pretty good in initiative. We need to 11. <laughs> nah. The 10. There we go. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh no, they're slightly funky owl bears. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's every comment we've had has had, like, the funky music. I like funk, what can I say? I'm it's not, not complaining! <laughs> oh, we're not complaining. You see, just the owl bears walk up to us, rolling their shoulders as they walk, just... <laughs> I like them. You know they have absolutely sick I aviators like on. <laughs> it, it's... No, no, it's better. Aviators. Aviators. It's, it's the, uh... <laughs> 
Pel wow, aviators. It's the Pelago Pelico outfit from the Appreciation Festival for Monster Hunter World, where he's wearing a disco ball for an afro. Amazing. Wow. Yes. It, it's, it's great. And yes, he does have shades. One has the disco ball, one has dancing lights. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing lights is a spell. Let's see if I'll roll better today compared to yesterday. Yeah, yeah one see. of the dollars is a caster. It's not too far fetched. I mean, this is already an owl bear. Sure. Oh no, I was rolling garbage with the shadow <laughs> demons. If you cannot beat my eleven, that's pretty bad. Well, I have bad news for you. You beat it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> On both of them? Yes. Impressive. Very nice. It's a good thing you're behind a power. Uh, Mizani and Chiraru, who's got the higher decks? I believe we're equal. <laughs> ah, who wants to go first, though? Uh, I think Mizani would have the initiative, saying as how he called out that Aldair's already here. Yeah, I think given my position, I should act first. Okay. You know what I'm going to do with pre combat stretches? Gotta do the downward facing owlbear. Exactly. Doing some Pilates. Mm -hmm. Look, you wouldn't want to pull a muscle in combat. Mm -hmm. No, not as a wizard. Exactly. I'll have you know that Bliss has been doing great. <laughs> to be fair, I think she has higher strength than uh, John Smith. And I know she has higher con. Oh, God, yeah. John Smith has um, a score. This is true. Bliss is a plus one to strength, which is very impressive considering she's a lazy villain. <laughs> Alright, top of the turn order. Mizani, you are up. Too late like to do anything else one. now. And let's see. Do you have control of the Zebra? I think I do. Yes, I do. Awesome. He needs to be smaller, shouldn't he? Uh -oh. No, he's small, so he takes up the same space as medium creature. Okay. It means I can't ride him yet. Yeah. I'm just... gonna step in. And I'll go after Albear too with a longsword strike. These are very big creatures, Mizani. Oh my god, poor Mizani. You're so small. They're also very fluffy. But they look. Yeah. Uh, you're like the size of one of their legs. Arms. Yeah. Yeah, well. He's just a little guy. I'm uh -huh. just a little guy. Exactly. I'm a little long sword at him. I'm a little guy Wait. who's very furious. That hits. Nice. And, and speaking of fury, uh, let's put on favorite foe and fury of the small. By the way, keep Leaver's in mind, kicking ass today. Keep in mind your uh, inspiration has been refreshed. 16 points of damage to number two. Leaver got that long sword right now. <laughs> <laughs> And sorry. <laughs> no problem. Let's do a D6 on there. Hmm. That's another Nineteen. Three. I'm noticing a pattern. Alrighty. Mizani, you quickly dash in after alerting hopefully your comrades in the cave. And with a quick swing of your soul of talon, you manage to uh, take a chunk out of one owl bear. <sighs> I believe Libra's turn. If you are done. Mm -mm. Also, you could probably <laughs> guess these may have been what eight the dead goblins. I believe Libra will take a bite of owl bear one. Oh, I'm doubtful he'll hit. 
One hit. Yeah, the hits. With the fury of a mountain lion, Libra leaps upon the other owl bear and starts trying his best to bite at its throat. He just nips at it. He's hungry. Mm -hmm. Their down will make an excellent bed filler. They are quite fluffy. They are. All right, is that your turn? Yes, that will be our turn. Teraru, you are up. As soon as you sat down, got comfy, lit up nice fire, you hear, excuse me, in the distance, uh, Mizani's voice yelling, Ow bears! And well. two, two loud shrieks. Gonna have to hold off on that smoke. Right. <laughs> smoke if you got him. Uh -huh. Fascinating. Wheel. So, don't, don't, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Move here. Char, as you turn the corner, you see two, two, well, one very large, monstrous hybrid owl and bear with Libra just on top of it trying his best to get some damage in. Ah, that, that's close. All right. That, that, that's just as for he... flavor. Libra is not on top of it. Come, <laughs> please. As he strikes up that druidic pipe, he's gonna start the fight off right with a uh, scorching rain on owlbear number one. Alright, three rays. Rolly, rolly. Rollies. That's yep. dangerous sports. Hot. Nice. Don't you have it in uh, your attacks box? Is it? Uh, yeah, sorry, I is. woke up kind of late before the session, so... Dude, I'm running on five uh, hours of sleep right now. Ah, I yep, you, you are correct. So just That hits. All three hit. Okay. I'm just going to put another box in there so I can do the hit. Thing. I mean, you can just hit Scorching Ray on each yeah. extra times. Six. Six. We're going to get another six. Ten. Ten. Not bad. What, 22 points of damage? I'm gonna keep my distance here. Alright, Shara, you fire three rays at this bear and then you run back in. It's, uh, not, it's now Owlbear 1's turn. It did not like getting attacked by fire. It did get attacked by fire. Huh? Albert 2 is the one who got hit by fire. Wait, I, thought I, I, I thought you said Albert 1. I had Mizani attack Albert 2 and Weaver attack Albert 1. Yeah, and Charu oh. attacked Albert 1 off Scorching Red. Ah, right. It is Albert mm -hmm. 1's turn. So it's going to provoke an attack of opportunity from you, Mizani, if you would so like. You know what? We'll try. Yeah. Not sure that hits. That bird barely hits. Huh. Uh, Ten slash. Ignore the two. Wow. Ignore the two. I forgot to take off favorite foe. Dueling All right. is great, guys. The owlbear charges in after Chiraru. Scorched and burned, turns the corner. Unfortunately, he can't get in because Satara has expertly placed herself there. So it's just going to try to attack Satara instead. Uh, Satara, oh, you see Chiraru run out, fire three beams, run back in, and 
after him, a giant owl bear thing came, comes crashing in. I'm kind of amazed at how fluffy it is. Like, it's just... But either so way... Fluffy, you might die. Yeah, either way, I don't like it. This is, um, they look very friend-shaped, but this one's very angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's very angry, so... Does a 16 hit? Uh, it does not, I'm 18. Alright, it's going in with its uh, second attack. We haven't had time to take our armor off. Nope. <laughs> Does a 23 hit? Oh yeah, it does. Ow. Ow right. bear. Ow. Yep, for sure, ow bear. You take 15 points of slashing damage. Ooh. You uh, okay. deflect its beak, but it comes out with a left hook with its claws. Ooh. Is now Owlbear's two turn, and it looks at you, Bizani. That hurt, you goblin, you tasty. <sighs> Woohoo! Brace with my shield. Um. Yeah, that's a thirteen. That's a miss. Not. And the side with the shield. And that is an eleven. That also misses. You and block both its attacks, but you can feel the power at weight as it just puts all of it onto your shield. It's very cool. impressive that your tiny body does not come. <clears throat> Alright. Much power, no finesse. Actually, they have a plus one index. Okay, I have a plus three. I have a plus zero. <laughs> Satara, it's your turn. Ow. Yeah. So I'm really upset because that like just sat up my down. Arm. Yeah, I just sat down. Charo's was about to light something up that we could share, and then this guy shows up. Alright, so I'm going to do a great sword. It's right in front of me. Well, we're sitting down is for flavor. It's, she, Satara was not actually prone. <laughs> True. That would be um, when you're starting to stand up when the. Yeah. Came. Essentially, yes. Essentially, I was like kind of just standing there, wait, watching Shiro get the fire ready and just kind of sit down. Yeah, you guys um, had plenty of time to stand up when the zombie <laughs> shouted. Now I forget. Is divine smite before or after an attack? You after. can call it after you use it. Okay. If you know it. Basically, Fire. whenever you hit, you can call it. All right. So I'm going because this owlbear is like blocking the entrance, and I, I feel like I have to protect you. Well, not so much protect you guys, but at least give them some hell. So I'm going to great sword. Oh no! Oh, oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> so that's going to be four d8 for your smite, there, Missy. Instead of two D eight, right. so roll great sword damage first. Oh wait, I did three D eight, I'm sorry. Oh, roll your great sword damage first. Okay, oh yeah, sorry. Da -da. Ow. Ow. Twenty. Ooh. And roll one more D eight to add on top of the And now and you was... roll your three D eight. Oh it was three D eight still. Okay. Sorry. Uh, four D eight. Yeah, four. Four D eight. Okay, let me change it to 2d8 at base and it's doubled with the crit. Alright. This yes. out there picked the wrong person. That's right. You I think he actually. Wrong. Yeah, he might have ripped my clothes and that's really. Mm, mm, mm. Wrong case. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. You, you take your sword and with the power of. The light spirit with it in you, you just slam it right into its face. There's a loud, sharp screech of pain and a divine flash of light as this thing looked fine. No longer looks that good. He just did 39 damage. <laughs> oh. Alright, you still have a movement and a bonus action. Um, so, a bonus action, I'm just gonna hit him with the Great Sword again. 
Unfortunately, Might as well. you cannot. Oh, yeah. What can I do for the bonus action? Uh, you can cast some spells that you have. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Then... You can do an offhand attack, cast a spell that has a cast time of one bonus action, or a class you are feature not equipped that to has a bonus offhand. action. Yeah. You are not equipped okay. to do an offhand attack. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to read yeah, it. as an action. Yeah, Leo, in the twin, in the new rule set, Leo on hands is a bonus action. <laughs> but you wouldn't have been able to do it in the new rule set either because <laughs> smites a bonus action. Yep, which is uh, really dumb. No, it's I think. Cumbersome. Well, maybe I'll just. I'm just gonna move a little bit, hmm. like to the to the right, kind of like add the way because I know you guys are gonna cast something, so. But I think I'm done. So you're just going to stay right there, though. Uh. Well. Let me back up. Right here. Well, it's going because to get that... an attack of opportunity off of me if you do that. Uh, yes, I would like to do that. Back up and then. Walkie dokie! Alright. As you back away, this thing sees red. Does a 17 hit you? No. And luckily you deflect it with your great sword. Take the yeah. chance of that. Uh, John, it is now your turn. You just see Big Owlbear walk in, hit Satara, and she took great offense to that. And did massive I mean, damage to it. I don't... I Seeing Satara take great offense to getting hit is a thing I'm fairly used to at this point. <laughs> so, John is going to finish stretching. Definitely don't tick her off. Uh, and is then going to cast... Um... Oh man, do I want to whiff a chromatic orb? I think I'm going to try to whiff a chromatic orb. Go for it! Alright. <clears throat> orb time. 13. That barely hits. Oh, that hits! <laughs> <laughs> what damage? Barely hit? Holy shit. <laughs> they um, have, a, a, they have an AC say? of 13. Son of a bitch. Uh, so this is going to be... You know, it didn't appreciate fire. So I think it'll appreciate lightning even less. Now it's fluffy as everywhere. Oh! How much Ooh, I nice! <laughs> wow. <clears throat> How do you want to kill it? <laughs> uh, I think it gets like really puffy from all this static and just like locks up and falls into the river. All right. John wasn't expecting it to work. <laughs> it's like looking at the gem and looking at the owlbear. So that's what that looks like when that hits. <laughs> I know, right? Honestly. You hit one of it before. <laughs> just not, you did no, a very I, good job hitting with it. I don't, I don't just know not if, recently. If, yeah, I know. I don't know if Chiraru remembers it being in the room when it landed, though. Yeah, no, Chiraru has never actually been there when it is hit. Yeah, I don't think he so. He was just a goat last time. Yeah. Uh, he's like, oh. yes. No, that's right. Hmm. It was what broke the wizard's concentration. It yeah. smells like, uh... Yeah, no, right. I... Someone had my goat at that point. Ooh. Someone other than you? That is John's turn. He's just like amazed that it that it worked. Unfortunately, you now may have a giant owlbear blocking your entrance, so that's gonna be difficult terrain. Oh well. Mazani, you're up! You hear a loud boom flash and, and you see the owlbear of to the north of you just collapsed to a river unmoving. Huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's one more owlbear in front of me. Well then, let's see about let's see how you like the board. Gonna stick with what worked. Hopefully. Nope. That barely misses. Mm, do I want to spend my inspiration? 
I uh, DM speaking here. I'm going to that for recommend maybe holding that off. Yeah, I probably don't. All right, leave for a turn. Yeah, sure. You will get around behind it. I think even with difficult terrain, it's enough to get it. Because it has forward movement. Yeah, that water is difficult terrain. And... Nippy nippy. With advantage. Good thing. That barely hits, yeah. Okay, three piercing. Minimum damage again. Damage is damage. Alright. Is that it for your turn, Sumi? That's everything I can do. Chiraru, it's Unless your turn. Can... Here's a dead poofy owlbear in front of you. Mm. It's also scorched. Mm. Damn, uh... Hmm. I just love how your character peroxide is just T-posing. It's just always T-posing. The flight makes it so hard to hit sometimes. Yeah, exactly. He has to <laughs> turn sideways to make sure his hands are pointing at his target. Exactly. <laughs> it's real awkward when he's doing the surgery. Yeah. I, I, I just get the mage hands to T-pose. Okay. I'm just gonna- how far can I make it with Mark the Leaps again? I figure DA number pro feet. Da, 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 da. I thought I had that saved somewhere. I think I have a little cheat sheet. I did not add it to the cheat sheet. Hmm. See, so that's. Just getting past the elevator is like 30. With difficult terrain from the river. Yeah. Hmm. basically be out of movement the moment you got past the owl bear. Yeah, and I'd be in the way for other people. I don't think anyone else can get past the owl bear <laughs> at all. So hmm. it's death <laughs> became a wall. Death wall. A wall of flesh. And feathers. And fur. That's accurate. Uh... The plus side, you could probably take one of these bodies and you need to get a taxidermy or maybe Take get a nice rug, rug. Mm -hmm. nice blanket. Mm. Well, let's park it on top of the elevator over here. Let's see. I do believe. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we're going to... goat legs. Strike up that same druidic pipe. As the owlbear hears a sizzle beneath its feet. We create bonfire. Oh. I presume you have to create it in the one spot that's not river. Yeah. So, let's Run see. those briars. So, like, right here. Oh. Yeah, broadcasting right. Uh, like right. 
here. Well, that it move. failed by one. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, let's let's go. It is that good old one d eight. All right, is that your turn, Shiraru? Yep. I did leave space by the elder for anyone trying to get past, slip past. Okay. Albert 2's turn. There is fire under its feet. It don't like that. So it's going to move further down here. It does not move out of me. It doesn't sound like it's like the biggest fan of its current environment. No. And uh, it's going to try to hit Libra, the tiny loser just trying to bite at it. Uh, does a 23 hit? Easily. Alright, the first peck attack. That is 10 points of piercing damage. Libra is still up. And seeing that it has drawn blood, it's going to come in with a claw attack. Not to do this. Yeah, that's a 25 to hit. That'll hit, and it probably get Libra. That is 12 points of slashing damage onto Libra. Yep, Libra is down. You hear a loud, like a loud bird screech, and then it falls into a very loud hoots, kind of like a uh, great jaggy in Monster Hunter Four. I'm, I'm sure Mason knows. Uh, Mizani, you saw your dragon fall down, unconscious, beneath this owl bear. Well then. So Tara, it's your turn. Get serious. All right. So I need to move around this owl bear. Um, can I get like on top of it? Great, in front of Traru. I would say you could climb on top, but that would definitely be an all your Uh, I'm gonna have no well, choice. Well, big, it, it is fairly unstable to stand. Ooh. Um, can I, like, stab my sword into it to stable myself? <laughs> or can we do anything with carcasses? There we go. Hang on top. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. That will reduce confusion, yes. Yeah, I was trying to fix that when Chirara jumped on top. Um, well, I'm gonna go... I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna go right next to Char Charu, and I, it, so, so, what does stable ground mean? And just, like, a fall off or something? Nah, it's just... It might mean you have disadvantage. You have... Enemies have mm. advantage to attack you. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Well, I gotta get past the, the body anyway, so. Um, and then. With your sight, you see Libra, the lovely dragon on the ground, <laughs> bleeding out. <laughs> oh, what a cry. Um, Not the baby. Yes. Yeah. Can't believe you would do this. I'm gonna kill you for that. Me? Right. <laughs> Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you specifically. No, if I kill you first. So, I don't know if it'll reach Mazani. I don't know if I can do this. Can I cast a spell? What spell? Depends on what spell. A shield of faith. That has a range of touch, so no, it would not reach. Oh, okay. All right. You can slap Thanks. it on yourself or Terraru, though. Um. Yeah, I might uh, throw it on Terraru. So, uh, I think he was 
might need it because he's probably going to be coming up next no, for me. No, shield faith has a range of sixty feet. It does. Yeah, yeah shield faith says sixty feet in my thing. Oh, I thought it was touch. Sorry. No, it says sixty feet. So. I was like, uh, yeah, no, I was like, that sounds wrong. Mm -hmm. So I look at was real. Quick. I don't know why I got that in my head. I must be thinking of a different stuff. Yeah, it's bonus and action. That will work if you want okay. to do it from Yes, I would like to cast Shield of Faith. Um, do I have to pick your character or anything? Yeah, you just mark it off on your spells that you've used. And Mizani, you mm -hmm. get 2 AC. Noted. Current AC, 21. Go get Ray. him, Ray! All right, so it's hard. That is your bonus action. What's your regular action? Now keep in mind, no, you cannot regular cast action. a spell. Now you can, however, cast a cantrip if mm -hmm. you have one. Um, can I can I search the Albear? Hmm. The dead Albear? Is that a thing? For what? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, don't know. I keep wanting to search it for uh, Unfortunately, <laughs> unlike various <laughs> other video games where creatures will uh, drop money, uh, this right. is not that kind of game. Man, this world who sometimes what? has Does money. Does it have 40 sometimes. gold in its butt? Right, serious. Does it drop 14 gold? Yeah, every creature has a pocket. It's right. Just... <laughs> what is oh, this? I don't want to know what that pocket is. <laughs> that pocket is, um. Oh, you're streaming, so I don't want to. <laughs> the Pajingly gland. It's where it eats all its gold. Um, alright. Can I do tough? It has a crop, so it's got some gold in there. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, you can say about two <laughs> sentences. Am I allowed to use tough? Uh, tough is passive. That only works when you... Oh, move. okay. Never mind. I think uh, that's it. If you want to attack, I mm -hmm. think you might be in range of a javelin. I do have javelins. Or you might be a, 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 mm. do it at a disadvantage. Let me double check. Javelins. Oh, yeah, that's fair, Caravan. Yep, you would just be in range to hit with a javelin. Alright. I do have two ja or three javelins on me, so. Forgot about that. Thank you. You cannot uh, smite with it, but. That's fine. Um. Well, I'm going to, even though I'm on this body, I'm going to try to chuck a javelin at Albear 2. Alrighty. Roll it. Oh. Where, can it, where do I hit it at? Sorry. It should be where your greatsword's at. Oh, there it is. I was picking the wrong one. It's hitting the inventory one. That unfortunately oh. missed. I tried. Uh, so, Satara, so you try to throw a javelin, but your foot slips on the feathers, and and your uh, aim gets thrown off and it flies into the water. Oh, spelunk! All right, that is your turn. Yes, I'm on then. John, you're up. Your All allies right. are standing mm -hmm. on an owlbear carcass that you killed <laughs> with yeah, chromatic yeah, orb. A thing that I actually killed. 10, 20, 30 gets me here. Can I stand on this part of the owl bear? We're play fast and loose here, sure. <laughs> I can show right. you owl bear. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I am Walking. then going to do something probably very stupid, but I don't want to really be in a tight corridor. I'm going to dash. Get off the bear. That's 20 feet of movement to get here. 25, 30 gets me behind Mazzani. Okay, that is your action. It is my action. And then my bonus action. Do I have any good bonus action spells or no? And the answer is no. Uh, as you are running up towards the Libra, John, you see a body... Or as you <laughs> run up behind Mazzani, John, you see a... The familiar body of Libra currently bleeding out, with the owlbear standing above it. Uh, Blood on well, its I beak and claws. There is one thing I can do for Libra. I will. I shall cast Healing Word on Libra. 
I don't know if that actually works. Is Libra a creature? I mean, yes, but it, it's special. Hang it on. should work. <laughs> yeah, it should work. Oh, lordy. Yeah, the, Drake whoa, whoa. Until it... the Drake remains until it is reduced to zero hit points. Until you use this feature to summon the Drake again. Or is until it you dead die. or making death saves? I think it dis it ceases to be or ceases to uh, be sa salvageable when it hits zero. <clears throat> okay, it, so it, it remains until it reaches is reduced to zero hit points. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like my familiar then. Interesting. Yes, wow. it just lasts a lot longer. Is Mazani hurt at all? No. No. <laughs> all right, then I will just stand here. And I'll stand here, T. Menacingly. I'm standing here. All right, Mazani, you're up. Libra's dead. How dare. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna Zephyr Strike. Understandable reaction. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Whoops. <laughs> oh, I forgot. That's Log Strider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yikes. Yeah, there. Now I got it. Means I lose favorite foe. Alright, so John, you feel a little gust of wind surrounding Mizani, like Sora casting Hero in Kingdom Hearts 1. And I'm uh, gonna I go ahead and burn reference. the advantage. I do feel the wind. Alright, you have I'm advantage on your sword. weapon. Attack. <laughs> that hits. Not and I will pump <laughs> the last Fury of the Small on this. And your fury is a small. Uh, it should be in there. Yes, it is in there. It is part of the eight. Oh, so twenty. Mizani, you remember using the spell to behead an orc in one clean motion, but this owl bear is definitely not that orc. It is still standing strong. I am not done with you. Alright, is that your turn? Indeed. Libra's body fades out of existence. Charo, you're up. The body remains. I think. Because I think you have to touch the remains. Too. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. Let me see where it talks about it. I guess no, it doesn't remain. I'm thinking of the artificer where you have to touch the remains in order to rebuild it. But apparently, I can just summon it again. Mm -hmm. Alright, Char, your turn. Yep. I have enough movement to actually make it here. Aha, aha. Let's see. You know what? He's gonna grab a couple pebbles into his hand here, cast Magic Stone. And then he's gonna try and hit the owlbear with said Magic Stones. Alright, Mr. Bayer River, you pick up some nice rocks. Ah. That hits! Back. Wow. Crusher, I'm gonna push him right back into that bonfire. Oh. So now it's got to make a dexterity saving throw for entering the fire group for the first aim in a turn. <laughs> you do some weird bou bouncing <laughs> on the water. Just got to get the right spin. <laughs> you skip the rock just right. You can pop the feet out from underneath them. There's a 12. It fails. Uh-huh. 1d8 fire. Nah, sounds about right. <laughs> Lightly singed. Alright, so that's your bonus action. What's your uh, action? The throwing the rock. Oh. Yep. 
fine. It'd be a broken spell if I could do all that in the bonus action. <laughs> Alright, it's Albert's two turn. I'm sure he won't come for me. I'm definitely the weakest in the party. And you haven't done anything to make him angry yet. Yet. He's going to get out of that bonfire and move up to here. Sees that it is its uh, companion is dead, going to fly into a rage narratively. This ain't Baldur's oh. Gate 3. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, Owl Barbarian. <laughs> uh, looks like it's going to go with Bizani with a beak attack. That is a miss. That is a 15. Indeed. And it's going to come at you with a claw attack. That is a 26 to hit. Is that against Mizani? Yep. Yes. Yep. That'll hit. I don't think I have any bullshit for this, do I? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how you said that. It's, it's true, like, though. It's true. Oh, he's not <laughs> wrong. That is very true. I don't have any magic I can just throw out there. You're not an abjuration <laughs> wizard, you're a necromancer. I know, right? <laughs> and a bad one at that, too. <laughs> Alrighty. It was so I close. Racist. Single corpse, and I won't be able to do that until level six. Seven, really? Uh, six, because it'll be fifth level of wizard. I won't be able to make good undead until level seven. I All of my undead will be. Uh, it's five to the third. Technically, it's five to the third. Yeah, so I need to be level six total for the to get the third level spell for anime dead. I need to get to level six wizard so I can get my uh. I think it's undead. It's some ability. I get to make better thralls. Yep. Anyways, you just uh, won't. You'll just be wasting the free learning animate dead. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm. I am not going to take the spell animate dead. I think. Well, I mean, I might take it if I. Well, you get it regardless. I, I get it regardless. It just depends on like, do I want to like have an entire level where I just make kind of shit zombies? <clears throat> Always a useful question. Yeah, I held off to level 6. Anyways, uh, Sume, that is, uh, 17 points of slashing damage to Mizani from this owlbear. Okay. Yeah, this thing hasn't been hitting you, but now it hit you, and oh my god, it hurts! <sighs> that is some power! I will end this. No wonder Libra went down. Satara, your turn. You see Mizani get clipped by a claw, which by the way, it rolled a natural 19. Thank god it wasn't a nat 20. Yeah, that could have been bad. Missy? What is your armor class, Mizani? 21 right this moment. 21, okay. okay. Alright, But only so... because of help from Satara. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna... Can I move my movement next to Chiraru right here? Get uh, off this owlbear? I probably have to say no, because it's really tight. Besides, I think you have flanking right there. I th okay, I want to move, like, right the carcass of this owlbear. Alright, it's very jiggly, unnatural. It uh, does not feel good to stand on, but hey, you're doing it. I'm doing it. And there's no way I can get off it to get right here. I'm still on it no matter where I am. Pretty much. He can't attack still, though. Okay. Alright, so... And I'm going to use one spell or two spells? See. Uh, how many spell slots do you have? I think I have two. And you use one for your smite, and then you use one for uh, shield of face, so you should have to see one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sprint does a spill. 
Yeah, because I know that paladins do not have a lot of spell slots. Yeah, I forgot that's. Are you guys All right, well, three? I'm just gonna do a great sword. Yeah, you guys should be level three, right? Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah. Should have three spell slots for half cast. That hits. That'll hit. Uh, Thirteen slashing. Let me check something really quick. Uh... Oh yeah, you do have one more spell slot there, Missy, if you would like to use your smite. Yeah, I'm gonna use my smite. Alright, let's use your last smite. Roll 2d8. Yep. 2d8, okay. Nineteen. Something. This owlbear is looking rough, but it's still standing. Oh, kill it! I'm so mad at Calibra. John, you're up. <clears throat> okay. You just saw Mizanic get devastated. You're glad I it's have, not you. I have a plan. Those are dangerous words. Yep. Yes, I'm going to move over here. So that I get into <laughs> into flanking with Shrari. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, wizard, let's go melee. <laughs> Flank her right. there. And then I'm going to cast a touch range spell. Oh All no, right, are you yeah. going to use that spell? I'm going to use that spell. This could are, be terrible. are you going to inflict some wounds to it? I'm going yeah, to that hits! At second level. Yeah, that hits. Alright. Um, oh, this is gonna hurt. Unless I roll four ones. You did not. I did so, not. So, um, how do you <laughs> want to kill it? <clears throat> this thing just, like, rapidly withers and ages just in front of the party. Mm, darkness finger. A bad touch. I'm gonna give you a prostate exam. Stop. <laughs> what? You're in the right position. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it dies after it, it dies after hearing the glove snap on. <laughs> oh my God. You hear? Gerard, you see its eyes go wide. Oh, you've been, you, you've done that to some animals before, and it dies. But, but that's not what happens after you've done it. No. Usually. <laughs> Usually. Well, there was that one time. <laughs> you don't talk about the one time. Dang, Johnny, you scary. My moderator just, gave, just typed out ellipses. I'm just like, yep. <laughs> just like October season two. <laughs> Alright, uh, guys, you managed to kill the two owl bears. Unfortunately, the death of Libra has happened, and Satara Vizani have took two heavy hits. Alright, well. We should clear the river of these. Probably a good idea. You don't really want yeah. corpses in your water. Uh, yeah, between which, them. At least you... for the one that you didn't. that you killed the first time. Yeah. The feathers are good down. You two probably need a hand, and I'm gonna like take some time to like use my healer's kit, two charges of it, to heal both Mazani and Satara just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the first I one is Mazani, fine. eleven. Though I appreciate your efforts. I mean, they all say they're going to be fine, and then on Satara, thirteen. Oh, thank you. Ooh, nice. I'm not gonna fix my my clothes, but it's okay. I mean, <laughs> the clothes. That's easier to fix. Anybody have mending? <laughs> I don't. I think John has mending actually. Oh, oh no! I, I took mold earth, not mending. I forgot. I took the dirt. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you have <laughs> at, at level four, pillow for the dirt man. I mean, at level four, you should be getting like a feature where you can switch out cantrips every long rest. Perhaps because <clears throat> Tasha's Satara. I will need some assistance moving this. Uh, it is quite large. 
Oh yeah, let's move it first. So really, you start to stink. Yeah, I presume we'll move him over here. And Mizani will try to grab good feathers. All right, give me survival for uh, gathering and strength for moving. Since you have Start someone helping, it's, it will be with advantage for strength. That's a save. Should it be athletics? Oh, wait. Yeah, athletics. Hmm. I'm sorry. Is there another... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Strong independent woman. Doesn't need no help. <laughs> Strong independent goblin. Oh, athletics. Oh, there I read Satara. My bad. Uh, well, Satara, you push, but Bizani is just running on pure <laughs> spite and anger for the death of Libra. Just falls this and just throws it like it's Rune Factory. I'm like, pure damn. Go get dragon by the foot. <laughs> And now, <laughs> it's like it's you throw. <laughs> it's survival. I want to pat you on the back, Lazani. Sorry. Angry feather plucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pluck, 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 pluck. Right. The image in my head is Nobunaga Yoichi and Togohisa plucking feathers off of the pussy drifters. All right, you have one more hour left to move. Well, let me do another athletics. Yep. Okay. Or we'll help one of them. I would say you got one pound of feathers there, Bizani. It's really hard to get a good grip. Uh huh. Because yeah. of the water. It's starting to get a little waterlogged, but thankfully Satara manages to uh, drag it out and place it next to the other one. You and. Survival again, I suppose. Uh, I'm sweating in real life and the game, moving all this stuff around. You cut off some talons. Oh, like necklace. You get eh, four talons and a pound of feathers. All right, all right. Which is a lot of feathers. Can we like trade them for stuff, or just? Mizami's intention is to use it for like. To bolster his betting. I was say maybe some clout. I'm going to be honest here. There's really no rules for crafting in D&D 5e. I mean, there's barely any in them. And 3.5 had some, but they were... Uh, honestly, D&D has never had good crafting rules. to be yeah. Ain't nothing but a thing. He's just adding a little fluff to his bed. There are homebrew rules that do have crafting, but I do not have access to those, unfortunately. How much would you say those four talons weigh? I say a pound for all four. So, 0. 0.25. <clears throat> I apologize for missing the signs. Until it was too late. Looks like the druid who also missed the signs. Which I have been told should have been survival, not nature, but... Probably that or perception. Eh. <laughs> to notice, nature would have been to, like, figure out what it is, I guess. <sighs> Regardless, if thou bears for keeping this cave, we can be fairly certain it is safe. Yeah. Also, you did notice none of them has spears sticking out of their eye. Ba, 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 ba. Or even half of one. Alright, you guys are going to uh, set up camp for tonight inside this cave. John, I assume, looks like he's staying outside. Uh, the cave is a safe place to be. <laughs> The cave is safe. The cave is safe. There is no war outside the cave. No, there's there no is... war in the cave. Mm. Exactly. And before going to bed, 
Mizani will take up a sort of meditative pose and summon Libra back with a spell slot. Or day. I knew the connection was not broken. It's just a carbuncle summon animation for FF14. That makes me really happy. Good. All of a sudden, Libra is back! <laughs> Unfortunately, not. But, uh, and, uh, better than ever. Or at least he was five minutes ago. Ah, yes, Libra 2. Libra the second. Come on, be on it. Libra. <laughs> Libra. You know as, as, as this a time. Every this time. time it... <laughs> this time, I'm going to have him be lightning elemental. Ooh. So, as he appears, he shakes, and little sparks come off. I feel my hair get a little staticky when he does that. He has a slightly blue tinge to his scales now. I shall keep first watch, though it should be unnecessary. <clears throat> All right, are you guys are uh, going to head to bed now. All right, for those who may be asking where Magnum and Opus are, are they did not get killed by the owl bears. I'm going to say they are in the clearing of each, uh, in this clearing right here. This one. Mm hmm. Ah, so there was a possibility they could have died. Uh -huh. Nah, I just I forgot to put them on the map. <laughs> That's they're all. Just hanging out with those dead bodies. They're probably upset. Well, they're kind of just dead. Like they're they're cor they've been eaten already. Yeah. Bones. Look at the bones. <laughs> Read the bones, laddie. All right, so first watch, um, Zani. Nothing happens, you feel pretty safe. Mm -hmm. uh, Satara, during your sleep, lovely sleep, very nice. The familiar shape of your light spirit, due to your Kalash star nature, appears. And without words, shows a, essentially a picture, mental image, of a castle in a forest. And you see a bugbear who looks and thinks and acts like a king because it's got a crown on his head and a word saying conquer just floats up. <laughs> into your brain. Oh. Okay. I think I kind of wake up sweaty from this, because a bugbear pretending to be king is kind of scary. You've only- you've already killed one. Yeah. That's true. But not one that has an army or king behind it. Yeah. Clark had a cave! This one has an actual castle. Yeah. So the rewards will be nicer. Maybe. But my light spirit showed a castle in a forest. Wouldn't you like a castle? Mm. I mean, you guys yeah, technically I... do. You have a giant man. You know what we can do with a castle? Build a moat to keep people out? Well, John can have his own, like... Pharmacy, Ma yeah, like you know, like whatever he wants to do. 
first that, human bad science. That's yeah. what Tracindor Manor is for in Fandolin. It's for you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, right well now, it's a real fixer upper. Yeah, it's right now being it's repaired. It's being repaired. It's a bit of a fixer right upper. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, if we can conquer. We can give you can John have two like the, castles. That's what I mean. Like we can have John can have like a whole first floor of something rather than just a room. He can like, you know, exactly. John would actually really like the ravine in Chester Manor. To be perfectly honest, I mean, he, you know, at this point, if we get a castle, he can have the whole Transcendent Manor as his whole playground, like kind of like a, a a Hojo situation. Where just, oh, no, <laughs> do not bring Hojo into this. <laughs> <laughs> that man was responsible for everything bad in FF7. Well, that just shouldn't run. Well, I mean, John, oh, I, think, I don't think John. <laughs> but, yeah. well, at least he didn't have an unusual uh, excursion. That's where I'm having a dilemma. Am I, am I supposed to conquer this, this bugbear or does this bugbear want to conquer? Because who knows, this bugbear could just be like <laughs> happily, happily as king and be able to actually be a good king. Ah, uh, yes, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about there, Sumi. You have to Peculiar pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean, to if, if you want up. to get some insight on how bugbears operate, because they are goblins, you could ask your, the party member who's a goblin. So ah, he may be a bit, but he may be a bit biased. <laughs> That's fine. I always like a Mazzani's opinion about other goblins. What if a bugbear was king? <laughs> Bugbears tend to be lazy and cruel. I guess at this huh? point, Mizani wakes up Satara for her watch. I thought yeah. they woke up. I woke up and that's what I thought. Instead oh. of talking. I heard them. Yeah. They would not be a wise king, most likely. Okay. They They're would big fillies and think that they owned the place. They oh. would, through brutality, enslave the weaker goblinoids. And send them mm. to cause havoc for their own amusement. It mm. is not a good thing. Could it ever be a good thing? Extremely unlikely. We have only met one goblin who seemed redeemable so far. <laughs> the guy was just like, listen, I was here no to fix the wagon one. wheel. <laughs> what if I told you there is a bug bear, big bear king with the castle? And that we... He maybe almost take certainly it. did not build it. If to he took fair. it, it would be fair to take it from him. To be fair, all the bugbears you guys have met have tried to kill you. That's true. Yeah. I just like getting all the facts. Um, I'm like, before I go on a mass homicidal a rage. Huh. A hobgoblin, on the other hand, could, in theory, build a castle. They are... Mm. Rarely any kinder than bugbears, but they are usually more organized and motivated. Yeah. Flashbacks to the seven that ambushed you in a perfect formation only for John to <laughs> almost wipe them all out. Right. And usually. The light spirit does pull from my experience to give me messages, and we've been fighting a lot of bugbears, and for all we know, it could be some sort of other goblin. This castle you speak of, it is possible it is what we seek. It is in a forest. But I doubt you have the skills to extrapolate where from the mere vision. Not, not so much. I get glances, visions. It's like watching a, a movie almost with... Not the what full context. <laughs> Everybody, it's like watching. Sitar. What's a movie? <laughs> a, a, a play. A play. How about this? The play. Works. What is a play? Gestures. A funny goblin. Most goblins are not funny. I don't know. A few of them have maybe laughed what? before. <laughs> not Job, by intention. <laughs> by well, ignorance. Think about that ogre we met. That was happy. That's. And he didn't know what, why he was so happy. <laughs> well, he was back. happy. And then he gets I back. Ever sing this song with me. I believe I we'll should. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll think about this later. We are arousing our companions. That is yeah. 
Yeah, you guys <laughs> remember, you are going to Thunder Tree to find a druid to maybe help out where to potentially find where Gundren was taken. He finally and, throws a few extra sticks on the fire and curls up. I'm just staring at the fire. I'm waiting. Watching. Well, nothing happens on your watch. It seems this cave is safe. Who would you like to wake up next? Uh, I'm going to wake up, John. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> John, you have been roused from your slumber. <laughs> you uncross your arms, sit stiffly <clears throat> upright. Yep. <clears throat> Night nose for all too. Alright, John, it's your turn. Your turn for watch. Alright. I lay down with my little bag and everything. I don't decide to tell him about my dream yet, just yet, because... We'll wait. I'm just gonna, like... We're in a fairly secure cave. I think John is just, like, gonna sit down by, like, the stairs here. And it's just, he is doing, he is, like, keeping watch. He is also just, like, using his his glass staff to just, like, draw stuff in, like, the gravel. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> What's drawn there, buddy? Uh, it's mostly just, like, arcane symbols and other stuff. Alright, ah, give me a dex your check. Rooms. Yeah, he's practicing his... A dex check. Yeah. What do I need a deck? Wouldn't this be <laughs> like an arm? Ah, fuck. All right. Here you are. A dexterity check from me with my zero. Twelve. I mean, that's probably not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, you've basically retraced some basic runes. You also put a smiley face because just because why not? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, you make a smiley face out of the runes. Mm. It's wizard emoticons. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Wizmojis. Please don't say that. <laughs> my brain went somewhere else. <laughs> and your watch is uh, uneventful. Arcanograms? <laughs> Better than our candygrams. Uh, so, I guess that is Chiraru next for watch then. Char, you are roused from your slumber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Right in there, John. Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> right in there, John. Oh, good morning. Alright, you got the last watch, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, it went through everyone. Okie dokie. Alright, Char, is there anything you'd like to do? Because your watch will go off mm. about a hitch. Mm-hmm. Char just finds all of like, his fucking drawings on the ground. I was to cast a good berry during my watch to get my spell slots back in the morning. Because I know that some people find controversy in rest casting. I mean, for the last eight hours. They last 24. Then you should definitely consult your doctor. <laughs> Extend a spell. Oh, God! <laughs> you asked for that one. Yep. Send berries, bro. <sighs> All right, you summon your good berries. And yeah. blast with your berries. I'll be keeping them in the buck wagon. Mm. Big, if true. <laughs> and then, uh... Yeah, Trar would scribble in some of the uh, different 
notes he's got stuffed in his scroll case. And just like that, the sun has risen. <gasps> the sun has risen. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but the mic didn't like it. <laughs> I, I, I wow. did the Lion wow. King opening thing. That's what I wow. thought it might be, but it was so little yeah. I couldn't meet you. But I stopped ah, before I... Swim by. I, I was like... Ah, so... Yeah, it went a little too hard. <laughs> yep. A little, little too high. A little too high. Alright, guys. The sun is up. I would say you've ate your rations, but it seems uh, Toro has taken care of that with the good berries. Mm-hmm. The horses have been fed. They take it without complaints this time. They must be brushed before we set out. I'll handle that as the um, ritual cast speak with animals beforehand. Oh, boy. How are you two holding up this morning? Your berry was good. Says Marcus. Mm, yes, it was acceptable. Says Opus. You two are quiet today. Sorry, the DM is like super tired, so he doesn't no, have fine. much to say. A little spook from those that those owlbears, eh? Oh, yeah. oh, yes, they were quite ferocious. Hey. It was smart of you guys to hide out like that. I hear that they really like horse meat. I'd rather not get eaten. It'd be a smart thing to not have happen. And he continues with his brushing. Oh, you are 36 degrees off. Please adjust. <laughs> Want me to roll anything for that? Sure, give me a hand. Uh, roll intelligence. Animal, animal handling. Animal handling. <laughs> I... Natural 20, <laughs> alright. You adjusted perfectly, and uh, Ophis is just like, Man, I can't find fault, because god damn, this feels real good. <laughs> I'm starting to learn you there, Opus. Max is just like, um, goat, sir. Have I told you about what that human fellow did a few nights ago when it was raining? Which human fellow? I happen to know a couple of them. The one that travels with you. The one who always has his arms out. He basically tells you all the time that John got wet during their nights. <laughs> nah, nah. And he's horse laughing as he does it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> does John hear the horse laughing? John is not paying attention to whatever's going on out there. He's just like working on some stuff in his book. That's fine. <laughs> You're busy prepa preparing your spells for today. Yeah, John has like more important things to focus on right now. Sounds like you two were really button heads. It was quite hilarious. Sounds like a comedy of the eras. But anyways, we are ready to go if you are. Excellent. I'll let the party know we're ready. <clears throat> The horses are ready if we are ready to depart. Uh, I'm ready to go. Whenever yep. you are. I'm ready. Alrighty. Let us depart. You guys depart back to the high road. I mean, we're traveling with Chivaru. All roads are high roads. Exactly. Yeah. Amen, brother. Hey, Chivaru, is there anything in those good berries? 
because they are really good, and I uh, they're like too good. He uh, twinkles his fingers and says, "Magic." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Because I am. This is like the most relaxing trip, and we just like slaughter two owlbears, and yes, magic's nice. My good berries tend to have a, that kind of effect on people if they're not used to them. Hmm. Very relaxing time. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna lay my back, head back here and enjoy our nice weather for now. Alright, so you guys get close to the city of Neverwinter. Unfortunately, it is raining. But you're not <laughs> close to the nice weather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. Yes. Uh, part of the way through your journey, the nice weather turns into rain. Um, you're getting closer to Neverwinter, and you know you, you need to head east along the river in order to get to Thunder Tree. What time of day is it? Uh, it is definitely evening. Hmm. We could. S it might be possible for us to reach Neverwinter before night. <clears throat> It yeah, might be. If you like to continue till to Thunder Tree, I will say you have enough time to get at least half of them. Or if we are in a hurry, we could turn towards Thunder Tree. I do not. I am certain we cannot get all the way there. Are we in a hurry? I do I'm just going to say this. I don't have a map for Neverwinter. <laughs> oh. uh, then, I think we might be in a hurry. Yeah, we might be in a, we had guys were in a hurry. There we go. All right, yeah, John's John's right. I think we should start exactly. try to go to there. Yeah, go remember, to Gundren's Tree, life yeah. hangs in the balance. That's yes, that, yes. Thank you for keeping back on task. All right, so I guess yes, got never, yes, we never winter. <laughs> you, you guys did get to here now, halfway to Thunder Tree, and it's definitely time to call it here for the night. <clears throat> no. Not so not D and D game. I'm talking about like resting. Okay, you were you, you were you scared me for a minute. Like what? Yeah, I was like, oh, I, I still well, have thunder tree. I was like, man, we were almost there. No, we're no, we're there. fine. Uh, it's just like to the... just to expedite things. Nothing happens at night. Everything is fine. Or just ah. it. and <laughs> for now, yes. Again, prep berries. Now, is yep. John sleeping under the wagon again? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I should start rolling con safe as up. But, eh. Why would I have to you roll start to get used safe? to it? I'm yeah. protected by the wagon. No, for comfortable. And the molder. For sleeping comfortably to not get exhausted. I slept I on the ground I have my before. bed roll. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. The following day, you guys made it, make it to Thunder Tree. Yeah. We did it. Thunder Tree. Thunder Tree. Did someone hear that? I don't. It, there was a noise I heard. <laughs> Like on screaming thunder tree. <laughs> right, that, that was. Must be where this place got its name. Perhaps um, it is the wind flowing through make sense. the valleys. Yeah, it makes sense. Which don't exist. Alright, you should be able to control your tokens. Feel free to check that. Uh, okay, it snapped too finally. Yeah. All right. If you would, have me, if you would like, by the way, someone roll a history check on Thunder Tree while I read no. this. Gradually, the trail becomes an old, overgrown lane winding between dilapidated buildings choked with vines and brush. In the middle of the settlement rises a steep hill, upon which stands a stone tower with a partially collapsed roof in an adjoining cottage. A dirt road hugs the base of the hill and winds its way between old stone houses many of which are roofless ruins. Other buildings appear intact. The whole place is eerily silent. A wooden sign is nailed in a post nearby. It reads, Danger! Planet monsters and zombies turn back now. 
plant monsters and zombies. Ooh. John looks very close at this sign. Hmm. John, since it. you are a native of Neverwinter, you do remember that uh, <clears throat> the that 30 years ago, the eruption of Mount Hotsenau to the north devastated the country. And in the wake of this natural disaster, a plague of strange zombies swept over the area, killing or driving off those who survived the eruption. He looks at it further. Yeah, this will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, the, I think the fixtures of the map are off by a square. Oh god, dang it! Eh, I don't think it matters right. that much right now. But there we go. Oh, oh. Yes, I think I felt the earth move. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> well, I'm not too worried about zombies. Good berry can have that effect on people sometimes. Probably why we heard thunder too when we walked in. <laughs> All right. Good berries. So, some of the buildings in the thunder tree have crumbled, but there are some that are still standing. We should seek the apothecary while we pass through. Druid. Uh, there is a house to the north that is in probably the best condition con between all of the uh, houses. Well, that might I'm willing be to check out this house. Wow, this house seems probably in really good condition. The if uh, we stay here for long, it may be good shelter. The house to the east of you is definitely overgrown. Of uh, the house to the east, this ruin looks as if it might once have been a farmhouse. It's now half swallowed by a dense thicket with trees growing through its foundations. The lane continues south a short distance past the ruin before ending in an overgrown field. As you walk up to this building, this small house is in a better condition than the dilapidated structures nearby. Doors are reinforced with heavy iron bands and thick shutters protect the windows. Could someone be living here? Worth a shot. I'm going to knock. Alright. So Tara, as you knock I on the door, the doors open, and standing before you in the doorway is where we'll take a break. <laughs> I've never met him like that before. That's a new wow. way to meet him. Well, that, was, that was a good way. It's been a long time since I met him. Oh. <sighs> Ah, yes, Mr. Brake. Mr. Brake. It's good to know you're doing well. It's been 30 minutes. How's Mrs. Brake? To shreds, you say. She's washing her hair. To shreds, you say? <laughs> to shreds, you say. <laughs> I mean, that was just her maiden name. Mr. Brake and Mrs. Shreds. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna redo all my ice because it's it's 104 right now. I'm melting. Very silly.
Everybody enjoying the session so far? Hello? Oh, I guess everybody is away. Hey chat, how are you guys doing? Did you have a good birthday yesterday, Caravan? I am very, very tired. That's good. Returned. Uh, welcome back. How'd you like the Albert fight? Hmm. Assume may I see I've seen a typo in, in the log. Probably. It says the prive of Avarice, not the price of Avarice. Well, I can fix that, can't I? Yeah, but should you? <laughs> yes. Since you last night's session there, Caravan. It was a wizard duel. With lots of collateral. Yeah. Ow. And I'm almost disappointed that Velian survived. Kinda, yeah. I feel like Kraut might have saved her if she went down, though. Yep, just because he's the, just because he seems to be that kind of person. But uh, I ain't going to lie. It's just Bliss probably would not have saved her because it's like, oh, you turned on us. Why? She wanted the staff. She wanted the book. She wasn't willing to negotiate about it. Mm -hmm. So stupid. Alright, but yeah, welcome to Thunder Tree, guys. There's a lot here. Thunder Tree! It's also a fairly large map. As long as we don't use Thunder Step in Thunder Tree! Alright, that joke has definitely gotten old in the first couple of Good. seconds. Good. Didn't get Good. The Thunder Wave? All right, I'm ending it here now, everybody. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm super low energy right now, chat. I uh, went to bed at 5 a.m. last night. Or this morning. And woke okay, up at 10. Because <laughs> I was an idiot and decided to read after d, &D yesterday. Welcome back, yeah, Missy. usually reading puts me to sleep way faster. Anything else? I have returned. I'll go back. Hope you guys like are enjoying the session. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried about the owlbear fight, but I'm glad you guys managed to pull through. I was pretty confident we'd make it, though yeah. Libra wasn't standing up to a full round of attacks from them. Yeah, you guys have very high AC. Eh? I mean, my AC is not that high. It's only 18. The frontliners definitely have high AC. Although it can be 23. I feel like Chiraru might have the lowest. The what? The lowest yeah, AC. What's your AC? 14. Uh, you gotta get on that uh, heavy armor train. <laughs> no, I think what I might do is I might take a one level dip into Monk. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fun thing to do. Yeah, the monk dip is usually pretty good. 
that or barbarian, but monk probably. That makes, makes more sense. Constitution for monk is bad. Yeah. Considering he has maxed wisdom. <laughs> Plus, I believe he has a natural weapon that does a d6. I have my ram attack, which is a d6, yes. <laughs> All right, so, uh, um, and it's bludgeoning, so I can proc pressure on it. I would like to say above game for this area, there's lots of goodies here. You don't have to explore all of it. There's also should. a potential massive amounts of combat. You can't just tell us that there's a bunch of goodies here and that we also don't have to explore right. everything. It's how we <laughs> have to explore everything. Do you know who, what kind of people we are? You set yes. us on this path. I would like to... As a DM, you should be happy about that. Yes. I would also like to admit that I will be uh, imp implementing the cleaving through creatures rule for Ooh. obvious oh, reason. So, yep. That's a fun one. Yep. Because there's a lot. If we do extra damage, it carries over, basically. <laughs> In certain conditions. Yes. I, I almost wanted to try that in Rick and Morty, but we were too late in the campaign, honestly. Yeah, th there's a lot of uh, rule extra rules in the DMG that I think are really fun. So I'd like to get to trying them a lot more. Except the madness table. <laughs> Alright. Everybody ready? Present. Yep. Alright, so Satara, as you knock on the door, the door opens. And standing before you is an elderly woman with a fox wrapped around her neck like a cat. Let's see if we have Hello, ma'am. Um, I'm Satara. Ooh. Nice cat. Um, it is how a are fox. You? What? She's holding it's a fox. Cat. It's Wait. a fox. It's a fox. Oh, nice fox. Here you go. Here's what she, here's you what get she looks like. Yeah. Here is uh, Radolf the Druid. Hey, you cool. can't say you can't say that to a woman. How impolite! Yeah. Mizani like <laughs> like smacks my ribs like. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, How can you say such crude things? <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hey, Radolf, this is who we were looking for. Yep. This mm -hmm. is her, this is. You could say you she's see. a foxy lady. We're looking for a druid. Do you know who anyone around here? Particularly one by the name of Radoth. A Radoth? I am her, yes. Kellen sent us your way to ask for some help on a matter. Come in, uh, come in, I suppose. Uh, she looks you up and down, Gerardo. An eyebrow raised. Pardon me, but what grove are you from? Oh, why, thank you for asking. Um, I originally come from... Hold up, sorry. Feel free to enter the building, guys. Let me close that. Yep. Oh, right, we have to I was waiting go for through Sitar the door. In we, have to, we have to go properly <laughs> through the door, no clipping through walls. John just lay in the back outside. <laughs> Mizani wipes his feet before entering and instructs Sleeper to do the same. Oh, John forgets to do that. So do I. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, my grove was lost to a terrible wildfire. Oh. I'm sure the Emerald Enclave would be willing to accept people from there. The ones that did survive decided to take pilgrimage to the Shandlewood Grove. I see. Uh, you do notice that she is wearing a uh, pin that looks like a deer as green. You definitely recognize that as for the Emerald Enclave, Geraru. We definitely appreciate that invitation. The hospitality is always welcome. Hmm. So what may I do for you? We are seeking a certain place in order to assist 
a mutual friend of ours. Mist. A dwarf by the name of Gundry. Very recognizable hat. He had helped those that had actually fled from said uh, grove when it caught fire. How I met him. How nice of him. He has been taken by goblinoids in service to someone called the Spider, I believe it was. She puts her hand on her chin, thinking. At this point, she has brewed, you guys, brewed and served you guys tea. They have some sort of castle among the wilderness. You and we need that... to find its oh. location. I know the place they speak of. I do not wish to rile the <clears throat> goblins without a good cause. Unfortunately, we have cause. But, seeing as how you have a cousin druid in your mists, you seem to be good people. I vouch for them. I offer a trade <clears throat> if you can drive off the dragon known as venom fang i will happily tell you where you could find this castle venom fang i'm sorry what a green i would presume indeed I mean, with a name like that yeah mizani you, you, you flash back to a few nights ago during the rainstorm, we heard a roar of a dragon at night. Does he range that far? Hmm. Uh, or perhaps she. Feel free to roll the intelligence check on what dragons are. I'm bone. I say for green. Kana is usually the dragon that. Sure, I will go with Arcana. I mean, I'm not uh, Mizani, I'll give you advantage. Sweet. Sure. Are. Oh, like Libra? Satara. Oh, like Libra? <laughs> Alright, John. Come on, John. Show us that brain. That wiz human wizard brain. That human wizard brain. Um, I'm gonna guidance myself. <laughs> Sounds good. Eighteen. Nice. Uh, John and Mizani, you both know that the most cutting and treacherous of true dragons are the green dragons. They are very manipulative and capricious. But you also know that older ones are have the uh, tendencies to alter the terrain around their lair, and it doesn't seem like that has happened yet, so you definitely aren't dealing with adult or ancient. It might be a young one. If it so is nearby... You might have a it, chance? <laughs> then it is likely a juvenile. It's no, it is no easy foe, of course. Possible, perhaps. They are cunning beasts, the greens. Filled with venom and poison. Yes, they have the habit of transforming the terrain into twisted, horrible affronts of nature. And that has already been happening around here. I take it you have read my sign? Ah, that was you. Yes. Yes, plant creatures and zombies, I believe it mentioned. Yes, Did there you think are... mentioning a dragon would drive more people here? Unfortunately, there are people in black masks and cloaks. 
You seem to be venerating the dragon. That's odd. Hmm. They are powerful creatures. I see why the weak willed would worship them blindly. Says the Drake Warden. <laughs> like, yeah, nah, that makes sense. Uh John specifically give me history. Alright. Um I'm once again, if I can, I shall guidance myself. Sure. Alright. We need to work out what your uh well, somatics and verbal components are for guidance. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like dragon cultists. Great. <laughs> Huzzah. You, you do remember potentially one time when the dragon cult tried to take over the sword coast, coast and summon Tiamat? Hopefully it's not that branch. Hmm. Also, well, that yes, it is also a young green dragon. It seems to have moved in here the last time I was here. However, there are also the giant spiders in the ruins on top of the hill. So be wary of those. Troublesome creatures as well. Excuse me. There are also uh, plant creatures known as blights. They are not very strong, but they are numerous. Blights. As well as the ash zombies. If you manage to find any treasure here, you are welcome to it. Just be careful, and once you drive off the dragon, <clears throat> you could please return so I can uphold my end of the bargain. Doubtless, that would be our purpose. And as a fellow druid, Please be safe. And may Sylvanus watch your path. And may he yours. Or her. I don't know the gender of Sylvanus. To believe Sylvanus was he. Right. Typically. He's Sylvanus. Yeah, I, I think Sylvanus is typically regarded as male. Alright, gang. Statue of a guy with an oak leaf on his, uh, you know? Yeah, because he's like yeah, that sounds about right. father of nature. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he is literally called like the fucking uh, forest father. Oak mm -hmm. father, I think. Uh, -huh. uh, oak father. Yeah, there's like a bunch of names for him. The f green father. Green father. Green father. Speaking of father, definitely very late a dude. Definitely <laughs> a dude. Speaking of father, I was looking at the mods from Baldur's Gate Three and saw one called Daddy Halson. Like. But yep, why? I've seen that one. <laughs> I've also seen Handsome Gortash, which is another amazing one. I mean, the man's already fairly handsome, so... Oh, it, it makes him... It gives him, like, the uh, the facial structure of Handsome Squidward. <laughs> oh, that's oh. amazing! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Really, if you want a female nature goddess, Eldath is probably more your speed. Uh I think there's like a isn't there like a ton of how many nature gods are there? Probably a, yes. a lot. <laughs> yes. Especially depending on how specific you get about being nature. Like a god of the storm, are they a nature god? Three, Agriculture? Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 nature gods. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, so, Tara, what's your input in all of this? Driving off a dragon. Uh, a place well, full of, all, of zombies. All I know is that I want to hit some zombies. I can handle that. But dragons, all I know is that 
Libra is the only dragon I've met. And I, I was just thinking the whole time, like, what if we pretend <laughs> Libra is the master of all dragons? I don't Le know. That Libra work. looks at you. He's like, what? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just. I'm. A, it's the good berries talking again. <laughs> you probably oh. shouldn't have had the extra one because you thought the first wasn't working. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. gotta be more careful with your micro doses. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm not. I'm not too happy about the dragon, but I am happy about the zombies. That's my stance. Yeah. What's uh. Chararu's stance on the zombies. Considering he was very against Unreal yeah. the last time. Do we know what manner of ways that they were brought about? Foul magic, says Rudolph. Mm. <laughs> it's happened 30 right. years ago. Truthfully, most have already turned back to ash. If you would like to, to get rid of them for all, I won't say no. Well, we shall see what we encounter, I suppose. We will need to save our strength for the dragon. It is doubtless one of the more dangerous things here. Yes. Even young ones are not to be trifled with. <laughs> They can, be, also... they can be a bit of a nuisance. They are one of nature's most powerful creatures. <sighs> no mortal would be right to not fear them. This has been an exciting conversation. Shall we go kill a dragon then, I suppose? <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. It is the duty entrusted to us. If we well. seek to help Gundren, we have no choice. <sighs> now, since this is a big map, I'm going to give you guys like colored dots on the stream if, to see where you guys are if at. If this is what we must do, then I suppose. Mm -hmm. However, uh, if we die, the blue um... dot. Huh? I'm amazed you gave me Zani the blue dot. Please. Sorry, what do the dot rep what dots represent? Th this is to help the stream guys oh. find you on the map because it's a I'm... large map, so I'm fairly zoomed out. Might want to match it to our uh, pictures then. At the bottom of row 20. Now we each have a color. Although you probably can't match them all perfectly. Probably not. Johnny, you get yellow. Yay! <laughs> Wait, my color is not. Oh. I'm clearly orange. And Sitar is actually closer to yellow. <laughs> yeah, if there's going to be big maps, we'll probably. We'll use the dots to keep it. So, so, so uh, chat can have an easier time of finding the map. <laughs> Can't actually drag your token through the wall. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, it's got proper, like, borders. <laughs> Isn't it <that> cool? <laughs> but the lighting isn't... The lighting is still manual. Well, I could, but that's a lot of work and effort that I don't want to put in. I'm surprised they didn't put it in for you. I thought that was part of the benefit of buying the book on Roll20. Uh, yeah. it does, but I don't know how to utilize it, so I'm just doing it manually. Just another reason no, why I, I messed with it. But I find I ended up playing with people who have computers that don't like it very much. That too. Oh, if your computer isn't great, 
then the lighting definitely has an issue. I've never had a problem because I have a, a PC that it almost functions. <laughs> almost. Almost. I mean, after me and Mace cleaned ours out, we were impressed that ours still functioned. Mm, I probably need to give mine a blow. It has been like a good year since I've cleaned out my PC. I should probably actually do that before it fucking chokes to death and dies. Yeah. Probably. So, <laughs> gang, would you like to go to the north? Which is where the dragon has been said, or explore a bit and maybe start out east with the house to the east. No choice. It may be wise to work around things rather than head straight for the dragon. We will need every advantage we can get if we are to face such a beast. You do have the option of potentially meeting with the cultist. <laughs> We should also keep an eye out for this apothecary we heard of that may have something of value. Oh yeah, because the person you saved from the uh, Dungeons of Tresinder Manor told you about it. Yep, the alchemy lab. So, what is your decision? Also, hi Sitara, you're back in the building still. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Now you're now in she's the tree. A tree. <laughs> Too much. I, I dashed. <laughs> you accidentally <laughs> ran up the tree. <laughs> oh, oh hey. So okay, Tara, hi. why are you in the tree? I like to be tall. <laughs> Ooh, I want to be taller. Technically, that's a bush. But yeah. <laughs> as long as he didn't run into like a wasp nest. That was scary. <laughs> a swarm of wasps. You're allergic to beast things. You have uh, disadvantage on con saves against beast things because you're allergic to them. Ooh. It's better than an auto fail. <laughs> hmm. I think it would do critical damage, actually. Yeah, probably. Yeah. All right. So north or east? Um. I say you could go west, but it leads back to Reynolds' house. I say north. By the way, the tea north. was pleasant. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing. Oh, we had tea. I didn't even realize. Oh, uh, yeah. She served you tea. Yep. It was a bit of an aside. Do we get any boost from tea? No. Other than hydration. I don't know. Did you select the British background? <laughs> Is it Lipton's original? We it's Yorkshire it tea. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the British rack down, you wouldn't get a boost from Lipton. It's, yeah, you wouldn't. It's actually chai. Yeah. The only thing the British background gives you for Lipton tea is you negate the uh, the you negate the debuff for it being Lipton tea. <laughs> <laughs> she served you brisk. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All our mouths just feel like we have cotton balls in it. Like, Man, what did she give us? Why is so we have a up? minus D4 to all <laughs> uh, saving throws that... and ability checks for the next three hours, right? Against against T. Was that T like... It, did it just leave like a film in everybody else's mouth, or is it just me? No, I, I feel it. I was going to say I, something, I was, but... I was wondering. I had heard many humans like this thing. This but... is... Uh, John is just Perhaps like, the leaves she gathered were from here. The soil didn't look the best. John is like just chugging water to try and get the like. Uh, your presentation? Hey, Sharo, is it okay if I have another good berry? Presentation probably cannot get rid of the mouth feel. I mean, I've only got one left, but sure. Uh, I need to get something. I need to get another taste out of the mouth. Anything? Yeah, wow, I did not know Brisk was well so hated. <laughs> I have not found mo <laughs> I have not had brisk since I was in elementary school. I find uh, most pre-made teas to be kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. I like yeah sure. Especially when they put so much lemon in it, and I don't care that much. Oh, yeah, lemon. Uh, 
I like straight black tea, but I stopped drinking it when I went on my caffeine kick. Or when I kicked caffeine. I know decaf yeah. exists, but... Eh. Yeah. Alright, so, north or east? Take a pick. So we are going straight for the dragon, then. Wait, the dragon was north? I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> oh. The dragon is to the north. I reverse my previous statement, and I want to go to the zombies, which are east, probably, most likely. <laughs> Paladin wants to go for the zombies. <laughs> Appropriate. I want to go to the thing I hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're well. heading over to this place. I guess we can start there. Who's in the Quick lead? Mizani will lead unless Sitara wants to. No, I'm gonna go right behind you. Nope. Oh. I guess Libra will bring up the rear. All right. Once and again, I'm here too. Once again, <laughs> this room. <laughs> Looks as if it might have once been a farmhouse. It's not half swallowed, but it's thicket with trees growing through its foundations. The lane continues south a short distance past the rumble, ending in an open field. Let's see. There is unlikely to be much of value, but. Oh, oh whoops, I never took my long rest. Let's see. One second. I'm reading something here. There's some mechanics to this room. But no cars? No cars. No. Dang, just mechanics. Hmm. Not a very profitable business. Not really. I mean, I'm sure they could realign your axle. I, I, I can use a bit of work on my horn. All right, I'm just going to carry this over then. Uh, Mizani, what's your passive perception? Uh, I believe it is. Yes, it is 17. All right, so you will notice this. Right when you enter, you see... One second. Twelve sets of eyes staring at you. They aren't hostile yet. There are living leaves here. <clears throat> interesting. And sticks. Ah, <laughs> uh, interesting. Says uh, says the AOE people. <laughs> hmm. Can you define living? They are looking at me. Oh. Oh. Well, do you want them to stop? Give 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 a mm, insight, Mizani. Alright. Give it to that. Uh they aren't hostile. But there's a chance they could be if you do something in this room for an extended period of time. They do not seem to wish to attack me this moment. Are these the blights you mentioned? But it is decidedly... tense within here. Did you want to get rid of them or just leave them alone? I do believe the druid would appreciate their removal, but she did not explicitly ask for it. That well. is... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she says I'm she's okay with you killing the zombies and getting rid of the dragon. Cultists, she doesn't care about. She didn't say anything about removing the blitz. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> Now, is there treasure anywhere? Can you see anything with your goblin eyes? I could not see anything. I, I will it say is... this. There was nothing but twi nothing but blights in this room. It seems there was 
But what was in here was long cleared out. I have doubts that there were anything of value. Well, they aren't looking to uh, clear out the blights. He just kind of takes a piece of paper out of his roll case. Takes <laughs> a pen or whatever have you to it. Beware of blights. And then just takes a little bit of the tar off of his uh, pipe, sticks it to the wall. All of a sudden, a blue man with gills and wings does a thumbs up sign in approval. Huh. <laughs> that, that was strange. Hi, Gulliver. I don't think that's. Who? Gulliver. Aha. <laughs> because he's well, done then... that. <laughs> Yeah. We shall leave them be, if that is what you wish. I, I think that's the best push action here. I mean, we could, but oh, no. it would be a waste. It would be a huge waste of time. Waste of time and resources for a potential dragon fight. Exactly. Yeah. There are so many better things we could be doing right now. But the boy, temptation is there, though. Would a fireball be a uh, fun? If this yeah. was an EXP based campaign, knock yourselves out. Unfortunately, this is a milestone. Not. <laughs> this no, is a I milestone don't... campaign. I say we move on. Maybe up a little further. See where the dragon is. Assess the situation. I mean, even a burning hand could be fun. Yeah. Or, you know, just. Flaming Sphere, run away. As the one who really can't yeah. cast fire, I suggest no. <laughs> ah, fine. Uh, we shall depart then. Mm -hmm. We'll say you do have a little path go. Oh, wait, nope. Then. Never mind, I forgot you're about to wall. All right. So, you guys head north? Indeed. You see a fork in the road. Ah! How useful. He finally picks it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one got me. Uh, that one got me. Thing. Yep. Alright, Fozzie, when you see a fork in the road, turn left. Alright, fork in the road, turn left. Come at sees a fork of the road turns left. I don't believe you. <laughs> Here, I don't believe it. <laughs> well, we know that we gotta go east still. So let's keep going east down this fork. I would like to point out, thank God that you guys make me roll twelve different initiatives. I appreciate it. That is one of the main reasons I do groups. I am too hot yeah, for fighting those blights. It's also why I'm like, I wanna implement the cleave mechanics. Because of this. Mm. All right, where are you guys going? I'm going east. Well, I mean, I'm asking the party. Do we want to go east? I am fine with that. We said we wish. I do believe we should seek out any boons we can find to deal with this threat. East Sturgeon. seems like a good direction to go. Right behind you, there, Mizani. All right. I will say, you do see, because it's fairly large, a uh, tower all the way towards the north. Tower! And as you guys head Dragon east, Tower! Just gonna oh. reveal the stuff. See, the path t turns two more paths of a house towards the south. Which, you remember Radolf pointing out that that may be housing uh, giant spiders. Feelings on giant spiders. Giant spiders? At this time of day? In this latitude, yes. Localized entirely in this village? Of course. Uh... May I see them? At least we didn't go with arachnids of unusual size. 
No. <laughs> I don't believe they you exist. Also, <laughs> there is a sign that says General Store hanging on the door frame. There may be things of value within this store. That or you can purchase a rank here. Mm. It might be too, that many stars would be too expensive. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. So are you willing to risk it? What, potentially? There are spiders in there? Yes. Yes. Oh. Hmm. It is the building on the hill. I don't know how. I don't... Uh, well, you know... Let me, let me read the block first. At an intersection near the middle of the village, a narrow lane winds up the steep hillside to the north. Directly to the south is a ruined building that might have been a store or a workshop. Webs stretch across the lane from the building to the trees on the north side of the road. Oh, so the spiders are northward. Hmm. And this is the general store down here? Yes, and that's where the spiders oh. are. Wait, the spiders are here? Yes. But there's webbing in But the north. webs and the hill are this way? I I'm confused now. Active perception check? Is there any webs going amongst the trees? Yeah. It's, uh, we're already in the middle of it. Yeah, you're basically dealing with some giant webs right now. Hmm. They're skywebbing right now. Yeah. Uh, let's well, see. it's better than Skynet. Thin trailing lines from the webs in the lane outside are leading into the, uh, the building. Uh, oh. Alright, well, as soon as you do that, uh, I need mm -hmm. everybody to roll a perception check. Alright. I'll say with advantage because you're expecting this. Can't Double get 15. any better than that. Alright, well... With the natural 20 and a 19, I'll say all of you succeed. And you are definitely ready as two giant spiders start it crawling seems... out to attack. Lovely for the spray. I need you guys to roll the it's... initiative. It seems we will have to deal with spiders regardless. Oh, spiders. I don't dislike them, but I don't like them. I hear you. Oh, no. Oh. I guess Zatara might dislike them. Yeah, today Oof. I dislike them. Though, uh, you got a negative one. Does that roll over and they go first? <laughs> no. Okay. I get hit first. Let me roll the die, game. Ah, uh, yes. Negative overflow values. Twelve. And you don't have your D8. Uh, you guys are currently in webs, which are deep, difficult terrain. And if you want to move all through them, you have to do an athletics check or be restrained. Oh. Have fun with that. Can you mark them out with some boxes or something on the map? Sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't like feeling sticky like this. There. Does that work? Sure, that'll work. Yeah. You don't like feeling what? sticky, but aren't you currently sticky due to your heat? <laughs> that too. Wait, now am I in it, or am I halfway in it, like, Star was fully in it and, like, my arm's in it? <laughs> I I'd say you're in it. Okay, alright. Well, we're in a sticky situation, guys. Indeed. Oh, I just got the joke. Very funny. <laughs> See, John, yeah. that could be funny. John. Ha ha. 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 We're fucked. You're mm. not in the webbing. <laughs> You're fucked. That seems more accurate. 
Yeah, frustrate. Yeah. yeah, truthfully, they would have gotten a surprise round if you failed the perception check, but uh, you guys clearly were warned about them. You would know. And we got some perception numbers, so. Yep, passive perception of 17 from the leading group. Uh, this one actually requires a active perception. To avoid being surprised. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I can't do much better than I did. All right, top of the turn order. Giant spider number one has a nice shot you. with you there, Mizani. Sure does. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to just charge at you and try to bite you. Both there. They are spiders. Yeah, mm. it's weird. Uh, that is yeah. a 16 to hit. That ain't hitting you. Nope. Shield time. Let's say this one will uh, proceed to crawl up onto the wall this direction. And that'll be. It's uh, Mazzani, your turn. This spider tried to take a chunk out of you. I need an athletics check first. To see if you're restrained by the webs. Pretty sure you won't be. Yeah, you're not. And might as well go for giant spider number one. With a long sword. Hello. That's a nope. That probably. Yeah, that misses. Talon bounces off the hard exoskeleton of the spider. What would Libra like to do? I think I will have Libra dodge because. Yeah, I'll just have Libra dodge. Alright, Libra is prepped to dodge out of the way just in case. Is that the end of your turn? Wanna... Yes. Alright, John, you're up. Big All spiders. Right. Huh. Uh, th this big spider, it's like, is it like in a window or is it just like half, how is it half at the building? It it's is sort of attached to a wall. <laughs> Alright, well that's yucky. Yep. So I'm gonna go here, getting closer to it, and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. <laughs> oh. Thunder Wave and Thunder uh, Tree. Would you like to measure Absolutely. out your AoE? Actually, that's a great thing I should do. Let me just use the tool to measure out my AoE. Cone. That's 15 a... feet. Alright, I could just do that. I could just... Is it a cone? I thought it was a square. Yeah. It's a cone. Oh, is it a I thought it was a cone. Is it a square? Oh, it's a square. Alright, hold on. Yeah, I know one of the thunder spells is hold a on. square, <laughs> which is weird. Hold on. I have a plan then. Hold I on, hold on, cubed. let me cook. Get, get cubed, idiot. <laughs> no. I don't have a way to hit both of them, unfortunately, without going into the webs. Alright, so... And you don't want uh, to. I do not want is to. That... I don't think that's centered on you. With that being on the wall, does that mean that it's technically off the ground? Yeah, yeah actually, yes. maybe you can hit both. I mean, maybe. I mean, that's, what? like, very, like, edging it, though. Yeah, it's, it's changing because he's going Play. diagonal. Yeah, because he's going diagonal. I will you let get... you hit it. You'll let me? All right. Oh. Then I will hit them with the old thunder wave. Thunder now, wave. does thunder, thunder wave tree. do something to construction? buildings. 
Uh, well, I'll populate the spells so you can see it. Unsecured objects that are complete within the area of effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away from you by the spell's effect. <laughs> well... I would call a wall a secured object. The good news is, is that... That is... Are you casting this at a higher level, or are you casting a normal? Second level Thunder Wave. That is Ooh. awful damage, then. Yep. Let me roll for Spider 1's con save. Spooter number one. Uh, oh my god. That is a number one. 10, so that is 11 points gone. Uh, bye bye. Gets, blo- uh, gets moved 10 feet away from me. And spider number two. That is a nine. So that also fails. <laughs> All right. And the web surrounding Nizani is uh, gone. Because it also has HP. (sighs) All right. Um, After seeing uh, myself blast away both spiders in the webs, I'm going to go stand behind Libra. All right. It is, uh... He will forgive you for the water. <laughs> it is spider number two's turn. It's going to crawl along its webs over here, because it's... technically still there? Nah, it's gone. Yeah, those webs are gone. So, uh, Chor is going to attack you. Oh no. Oh, yes. There's a 15 hit. Yeah, that does. Hey, uh, oh, no. Satara, would you like to use your reaction for interception? I do. Alright. Does interception block poison damage? Uh, I think it reduces all damage by a certain amount. Alright, so Satara, you need to roll your interception die, which I forgot what it was. I believe it's a d10 plus... Efficiency? Uh, Where is that? Can you hit your uh, intercept button under features and traits for us? Oh, features and traits. Should say something like fighting style interception or something. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I need to put that command in. Uh, there it sheet. is. Okay, and then I have it as 1d10 plus 2. Yep. yep. Yeah, All right, so we're 1d10 plus 2. Okay. 9. All right, Not so bad. Chiraru, the uh, piercing damage, which was 9, is completely all blocked. Yet the poison damage, it squirts out for uh, 6 points of pierce poison damage, and I need a constitution saving throw. Uh Uh-huh. Illicit substances. Oh, no. (laughs) Alright, well, (laughs) instead of uh, six poison damage, it's actually three. (laughs) The drug test passed. (laughs) Somehow. (laughs) Sorry, I should have had you roll the con save before I did the poison that's my fault. I never ran giant spiders, so this is new for me. I wouldn't just pass the drug test. I'd ace it. <laughs> They're not testing that you've taken them all. Oh. All right. <laughs> Chiraru, <laughs> it's your turn. Going up for everything. Chiraru, Chir- it is your turn. Big spider in front of me. Oh no. Does that mean you win? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. <laughs> moving around, moving around, round, round. You passed the drug test. It's not it's now time for the drug SATs. <laughs> oh oh no. I need Gotta to get, get to the right drug college. <laughs> Which is Ooh. most of them, to be fair. PSA, no one here endorses the use of drugs for recreational I use. do. <laughs> I mean it depends what you mean by drugs. 
Heroin. Yes. I do not endorse heroin. I do. It, it, yeah. Morphine, right. maybe. Let's go with burning hands. And you know what? I'm feeling spicy. Level two. That is a spicy hand. Dex That's save. 15 okay. foot cone, right? I mm. feel like you're only going to be getting the f one of them. It'll be real What if I was to. Say if you were here. here. I'd allow that, yeah. Yeah. That's the aim. Oh, Alrighty. Dex save. Feel free to roll damage. Mm hmm. Let's All see. right. Giant cool. Spider 2. Giant Spider 2 got a soft 20. Uh -huh. you know, a Giant a Spider 1 got a 2. And yeah, it's a good all of the webs are gone. All those webs are definitely gone. So roll damage there, base. Wow. 11. Consistency. One did not take the full brunt, but the other one's definitely looking rough. Mm -hmm. Is that your turn? Well, I know that thing can find my walls, just seen it. Uh, uh. I think so, yeah. Alright, Satoru, you are up. Ew. Big ew, bug yeah, must ew. kill. Conquer the ew. spiders. And just for that feeling, I'm gonna do a great sword. You have advantage. Blanking. Great sword on. Oh, I'm sorry, giant spider two. Yep. yep. Fifteen. Well, that hits. For ten. Ooh. Wow. Ten slushing. It is still alive. Oh. Um. And I get a bonus action, right? Or no? If you would like to use Shield of Faith. Yeah, um, but you got... it does use your smite slots. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, well, a little bit of some well, metagaming here. You don't get extra attack until level 5. I see. Oh. Okay. And you guys and are still level 5. If you to attack three. with a bonus action, you couldn't be using a great sword. Right, okay. Because a great sword takes two hands. Okay, um, I'm just going to. End my turn. It's fine. Alright, conserve the save, spell slots. Probably for the best, considering a possible mm -hmm. dragon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't imagine yeah. that would be great. Alrighty. Giant Spider 1. It's going to shoot some web at you, Mizani, so I need a... To hit one... I need to hit you first. That is a natural one. That it overshot. It shoots some webs out from a spinneret and it hits the tree on the other side of the road. Ah, premature webbing. <laughs> I just hate it when that happens. It like shot past my face. I'm like, wow. Arachnid dysfunction. I'm like, wow. Misani, you are up. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing I look at Spider One, just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> and then I hit Spider 2. Alrighty. Well, I tried to at least. Goodbye, Spider. Yeah. yeah. That hits. Mm, do I want to make it any spicier? No. I have points of damage. Mm -hmm. Libra, however, wants to make it a little spicier. With a uh, bit of lightning. electricity. That is a shame, because it is still alive, but only just. Yeah, hey, well. Alright, Libra's turn. He's, he's kind of annoyed, so Mizani will command him to uh, put an end to the spider. Or try to, at least. 
Chomp. Yeah, that hits. Uh, <laughs> Libra gets the feast on giant spider for dinner. Woo. He tears one of its legs off. He goes, Eah! Dies. Alright, John, you're up. One spider dead, one still alive. Let's change that, shall we? Yes, I'd like to remove a spider. Uh, but did you prep remove spider? I, unfortunately, I didn't pre uh, prep remove spider, but I do have firebolt. That'll work. Ooh. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> wow. Nice. That's a spicy a spider bolt. <laughs> John's spider. on fire. John's on fire tonight. No. Well, actually, the spider's on fire. Yeah, I'm okay. very specifically not. The spider is still alive, but it is looking awful. It ain't happy, that's for sure. It smells like burnt, Maybe. like plastic. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I hate that smell. I was hoping to die for that, now we just gotta watch it burn and try to attack us still. This sucks. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, John, I'll try and get it next time. Uh, that. Anybody look injured here? No. Uh, uh, I got splashed with a little bit of poison, but it's not bad. You'll be fine. <laughs> you'll feel like you pop a couple of good berries and you'll be fine. I was just saying, just eat a good berry. It'll make you good. No, well, actually, he'll uh, John, so just... John will just continue doing his um, free fight stretches that he was so unable to do. That is true. We didn't stop for John. We gotta make sure to remember that, Bruce. Exactly. Sure, your turn. Spider in front of oh. you got devoured by the Libra. Another one just got a big blast of fire in its face. You know what goes great with fire? More fire. More fire. More fire. Let's create a bonfire. Right here under its butt. Deck save. Uh -huh. uh, that is a 19. That is no damage. Yep. No plan. For now. And then... Bonus action, prep some magic stones. Alright, you pick up some guns. Sorry, bullets. I mean, pebbles. So, Taro, your turn. Uh, Taro, you just made it smell worse. <laughs> it's just it's just loving the fire at this point. It doesn't care. Alright. So, can I get a... That body doesn't exist there anymore, right? Libra That's ate it. Well... Not the whole thing. He's in the well, process. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna walk past Libra. Enjoy. Enjoy your snack. I'm gonna great sword. Uh, Pinky Spider. Alright, let's oh. see it. Oh my gosh. Why did I click away from my sheet? That hits. Take that. Alright, how do you wanna kill the spider? Well, it's on fire. I like, I swing and it kind of splatters and like, unfortunately, I get like the goop on me and it's really stinky and hot. And it's just like, oh, this is like the worst encounter I've had in a while. Yeah, and with it's that, dead. <laughs> drop concentration <laughs> on that big bonfire. And uh, Libra still has a spider leg in its mouth and it slowly <laughs> curls as the pneumatic pressure goes down. All right, you have cleared out this building. Would you like to go inside and investigate? Well, yeah. whether we wanted to or not, we've dealt with giant spiders. All right. And I will use Talon to cut through cobwebs if any get in the way. Nah, that burning hands from Chiraro pretty much torched the place. <laughs> Uh, inside, you find a corpse, corpse of a person. Well, a corpse size, a body size spider cocoon. Oh, 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 that's lovely. In the western half of the building. Um, John, you want to check that out, John? Um, I will open it if you wish. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Zani will use Talon to try and cut it open carefully. Uh, inside is a body that is shriveled and dry, but appears to have been a male elf. The armor it's wearing, strangely enough, looks immaculate. And there's a short sword in a scabbard at its hip. It seems this was a fighter. Along with a belt. With some pouches. 
Hmm. Let us give him a proper burial and see if what we can make use of him is equipment. Mizani will pull him out, lay him down. John, this armor, it is strange that it is untarnished. Can you check it? Does John have other working tools? <laughs> Sorry, someone entered my room. What's going on? Mizani asked if you could check the armor because it looks untarnished. Uh, sure. I on can the body of a dry armor. and shriveled male elf. Hmm. Uh, I will take the ten minutes required to cast the spell Identify. Okay. As a ritual. And while he does that, Mizani will s take a look out back, and if it looks I... clear... I, I will be right back. I'm going to keep my headset on so I can hear things. I just I have a package that was delivered. I need to go grab it. Oh, okay. No worries. We'll probably be finishing up after this. Anyways. Yes, I'm getting really overheated over here. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> Did anyone could... have a shuffle? You could still search his body because he does have a belt pouch with some cool stuff uh... attached to it. I feel like I someone did have a shovel, I feel like. Or was it that on the horse? I don't well, know. Don't trust me. John could always use Mold Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yes, but he's busy. Yeah. Correct. I do not have a shovel in my inventory. I could have someone did. I have some torches. Uh I did the fire. I'm back. I have acquired bucket. Nice. Uh, John, your identified goes off and is a plus one leather armor. Wow. You know, this armor, real great. It's just like regular leather armor, but a little bit better. Cool. I prefer it's something a... heavier myself. Yep. The How about armor? you, Chiraru? It doesn't have any metal, does it? Uh, no, it, it very specifically lacks any studs in it. Oh, I can probably make use of that for the time being. It's plus one leather, so 12 AC plus dex. Yay. Nice. Compendium. Doom, 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 doom. I noticed that uh, Char looks very dapper in his new leather armor. I was like, oh. Uh, John, if you're still looking at body you'll, and you'd like to uh, search it, I'll, I'll start poking around at it. You find a potion of healing in a belt pouch. Ooh, I'm keeping that. You know it's a potion of healing because it looks like the rest of your potions of healing. Yeah, you know, this looks exactly like my other po- I'm going to check the expiry date on it. <laughs> you don't see a label. Darn. <laughs> it's oh, over I'll a week be... old. It's oh, <laughs> Uh, it's, hey, the, the seal's still there. It's still good. You also <laughs> find 23 gold and the 35 okay. silver. Okay. All right. I feel like it was worth killing these spiders. Especially What's the leather armor. Of course, the short sword. Yes, uh, 35 silver. And, and, and a short sword. sword. Okay. But the short sword doesn't look special, so. Nope. Right. No. Can we sell it? You can. Won't yeah. be worth a whole lot, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't be a bad thing to have as a backup weapon. By the way, I got a question. Since there's a dragon in the vicinity, what are you guys going to do about your horses? Prime targets for hungry lizard before it can. <laughs> can we ask the druid to watch them? Sure. I'll say you guys had the hindsight, the foresight to ask her to hide the tra the horses. You will get them when you come back. Well, I guess Mizani doesn't don't get to dig come grave back. Because they no one pair has well it. with this kind of sauce. Also, uh, John Mizani had asked if anybody had a shovel to bury the corpse. Uh, I don't have a shovel. Yeah, it's called Mold Earth. <laughs> John is the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just fine. pick him up. <laughs> Point him at the uh, ground. 
and then he just twinkles his fingers yeah, at the ground. Just molds it over him. Like, I'll it's like, just open a pit. It's like Goku. The body. It's like Goku and Namek before he buries Vegeta. He just looks at the ground and just boom hole. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. It's Thank inside you. the building, so obviously it's not like under like dirt, right? Uh, I think we can bury it here. -ish. Yeah, oh, you yeah. definitely have to go outside. Yeah, John will just like drag it outside. All right, <clears throat> cracks his knuckles. Um, actually, as you go down uh, there, hit. oh, you see that there is oh, no. a pathway to another building. Oh my god. And this one looks surprisingly intact. Hang on. I'll have to read it. Uh, based on its wide chimney and the rotted piles of firewood jumbled outside the walls, this sacking building was probably a smithy in its day. Hmm. It might be worth checking there, too. But let us do this corpse the honor the spider did not. <laughs> I um, open a pit beneath it and then I close it. All right, you put the body in, clap your hands, says, rest in peace. Now what? Ferraro, very now efficient at finding rocks, finds a nice pile of rocks to put at the head of where the grave was. A cairn. Mm -hmm. Since we didn't have the liberty of a name. Best thing I could think to honor the dead. They have returned to the earth. I can only hope that is what they would wish. Better than them being found by, say, four to five people and then having their body looted for their equipment, right? Surely. Shifty eyes, shifty eyes, shifty eyes. <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't want their armor to just be thrown away. Especially since it was magical. I'd hate to have that stolen off my body. <laughs> well, I mean, if we find who it, if we find his next of kin, we could return it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, shall we look within this? <clears throat> slanted place. Yes, it is quite crooked. If no one objects, he's going to open the door and have a peek. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, you see four bodies slumped on the floor. Mm. He will look at the ceiling. It is not fallen yet. No cobwebs, no giant spiders. No. Mm. Bodies. You, you do see a variety of old tools, tongs, bellows, hammers, and a pair of iron anvils are scattered around the interior of this building. How rotten do the bodies look? Yuck. Indeed. It seems yuck. they have been here for some time. Yeah, they do look rather yuck. Worse even than the elf. It is possible they are undead, though. Is there a good mm. way to check? Um, I think there might be a way to check if they're undead. And I look through the window and I'm gonna go... Looks at the my... paladin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, paladin. Uh, <laughs> Takara, you have a way to figure out if things are... Funky and undead, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. They do. I do. All right. Are they funky and undead? Or are they just uh, Do I need to roll something for this? Uh, nope. Just, he, just use your divine use sense. sense. Uh, yeah, they are undead. Wow. Uh, no. <laughs> you no. say you use your divine sense, and the DM tells oh. you they're undead. Okay. So it's actually also under your. Uh... 
I see divine sense. Features and traits. Yeah, I see two. For my divine so you mark sense. off one of your divine senses, and if you uh, want, you can put it in the chat. Otherwise, you tell okay. the DM, hey. I mean, we won't know if it's Strahd von Zerovich. Yeah. Okay, so I'll use my. <laughs> I will tell you this now Strahd's not here. Not Which yet. is good. <laughs> hey, you can't tell us that. It might be Strahd. Hello, I'm here from Barovia. There, I use my divine sense. Oh, I was just saying, like, uh, under feats and tra uh, traits, you can probably click it and then put the little bubble. Yeah. Uh, chat bubble. Let me see. I don't really see it. It should be, like, one of the first ones. Well, let me... Let's me edit it, but won't let me click it. Let's see. Oh, if you mouse over it, then there's the bubble. To the right. Little text bubble. Huh. It says disabled. Hold on. Oh. Weird. Okay, hold on. Yeah, well, the DM knows how Divine Sense works, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh huh. There we go. Uh, I, d I do, but this is more of her getting used to the character sheet. Mm -hmm. That was Smite. Yeah, that's, that's Smite. Oh, that was Smite. Smite. Oh my gosh. Divine Sense. I read it wrong. Yeah. Is it's... it Divine Sense or is it called something else? No, there it is. It's just up. It's further. There, there yeah. we go. Since it's like a noxious odor. 60 feet of you. Alright, one second. Whoa. Don't wow. do that. I already Sorry. have the aura up. On the jam layer? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, there it is. Alright, um... Yeah, there are definitely undead in that room, boss. <laughs> Damn, can't believe there's undead in there. How unlikely. Impossible. Oh, Inconceivable. Uh, hmm. Completely improbable. So, would you like to go in and confront the undead? No. We were asked to get rid of some of them, I believe. Hmm. <clears throat> no. Or at least encouraged to. Yeah. I am not opposed. How about Teraru? Is he itchy? Yeah. Uh. Mm. I know, uh, Satara was ready to slice I'm very itchy, dead. but I'm also very sweaty. Don't worry, we'll be ending once you, we resolve this. Let's kill these things. <laughs> Very well. Fine. All Let's right. prep some magic stones. Feel free to enter the room. Uh, I might just look in through the window. I'm going to enter right in because I'm just <clears throat> like, oh, I smell this. it and I'm started. Oh. There we go. Oh my god, they're going to raise from the dead. As Mizani and mm -hmm. Satara... Walk into the old smithy. The four bodies get up, just like in Dark Souls 2. And go, Zombie 14. Uh, oh. And here's where we will end the session for tonight. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe they're alive. They're not, they're alive. though. I can't believe they're animated. Honestly, they look you can't it. believe it's undead. <laughs> can't believe it's undead. Can't believe it. Says the necromancer. <sighs> thank you all for coming. Greatly appreciate it. Feel Oops, free to all zombies. For, for the Twitter people, thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if not, that's okay. Now uh, follow me on Twitch at Epia Gaming. Bye. Bye bye. And... That's better than oops all good berries. <laughs> <laughs>